Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me using all four and a half star rated makeup. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So are you one to really look at the reviews and really see what people have to say before you try a makeup product or a skincare or some type of beauty item? Does it really matter to you what they say? Does it matter to you if um, whoever is reviewing the product, if they, was sent, if they were sent the product for free or if they were paid to do the review? Do you kind of take some stock in what those type of reviews have to say or does it not matter? With this video, I decided to pick out all four and a half star rated makeup and this um, the makeup is on various websites like Ulta it could be the brands website Amazon Walgreens but somewhere in there you know um, more than a thousand or more people rated the makeup that I'm gonna use as four and a half star so I thought that this would be a good video to do if you tried any of this makeup and you agree with the rating please let me know I'll try to put a poll up if they still have polls, I'll put a, a poll up and just tell me, does it matter what reviews say to you? Or at the end of the day, you're just gonna buy whatever it is you wanna buy. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm gonna use the Revlon Brow Fantasy by Colorstay. The shade that I have it in is in Brunette and one side has the gel it's like a two-sided it's got the crayon on one side and the gel on the other and i really like the pencil the pencil doesn't tug at the skin it doesn't skip and um, even though this is brunette and the shade of my hair is not brunette i think that it's a decent match i think that i can work it out pretty good so yeah, I'm just spit filling in the sparse places. All right, next up I'm gonna carve out my brows and I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is pretty popular. Um, has been pretty popular for a while now here on the YT. And I'm actually uh, not surprised that it has you know a good rating or at least I consider four and a half stars to be a good rating but as you can see for this look I'm kind of uh, doing the most by carving out the brows so I just like to put some on each side just a little bit and then carve it out because I'm going for that uh, more made up look. And it covers the hyperpigmentation up really good, as you can see. And I really love how big the dough butt is on this concealer. And I think that the love of that dough fit might be kind of universal across, um, I guess people in the YouTube community, most people like it. And I think that uh, probably Tarte Shape Tape was the one who kind of started that whole, you know, big doe foot type of thing going on. So anyway, I'm just blending this out with my Real Techniques sponge. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some hyaluronic acid serum. This is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. And as you can see, it's just a clear, relatively thin serum. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And for those of y'all who are familiar with my channel, you all know that I just use my skincare. Um, I don't use primers or anything like that. I really, I never have. So, let's see. All right, so to set my uh, concealer, I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. This is it, okay. All right, so the palette that I'm gonna use is the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette do y'all remember this one this palette actually has i think 
almost five stars definitely four and a half but I'm gonna go in with my brow bone highlight so for a brow bone highlight I'm gonna start off with this shade and okay yeah I was gonna say it might not even be lighter than what I already have going on up there and I typically like to keep my uh, whatever shade that I have on my brow bone I like to have that as matte as a matte shadow that's just a personal preference um, I know some people like to have uh, metallic or almost like a shimmer up there okay now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that right there above my crease and it's funny because you would think that these shades probably wouldn't show up that well on my skin tone, but it's doing a good job. This one's even, to me, kind of coming out darker than what it actually is in the pan, which I don't mind. It just can be a little bit tricky sometimes when you're actually doing your makeup because you could actually think that, oh, okay, I'm getting a light shade. But in all actuality, you're getting something else. I did a uh, video on this palette when it first came out. I'll try to find it and link it up above where I did a couple of looks. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the deepest shade in the palette, which would be this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that along my outer V. And there's absolutely no patchiness, as you all can see. Okay, and I'm gonna go back in with my other brush with a little bit more of that other shade, just to kind of blend out the corners. And when you're blending out, you know, just use a very light hand, almost like you're tickling your eyes. You know, that's what it'll feel like with the brush. So for right here in the middle of my lid, I'm gonna use this shade right here. The golds in here are so, 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 so pretty. And as you can see, I'm being lazy just by adding it with my fingers. <laughs> And then for the inner eye, I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is so pretty. And yes, I'm gonna use my fingers again. Oh man, I just forgot how pretty this is. You know, sometimes you can get really caught up in the hustle and bustle of trying to buy the newest and greatest thing. And that's fine. If you got deep pockets, hey, more power to you. <laughs> but it is a real treat a lot of the times just to go and enjoy some of the other stuff that you have and just remember, hey, gosh, that was really nice. And then I'm gonna go back in a little bit more of the shade and just kind of add, deepen up the crease just a little bit more. And then on the lower lash line, the inner lower lash line, be a little extra and add that gold. I will probably have to reapply it after I get my um, concealer on and stuff like that. And then on the lower lash line, I'm gonna use this shade. And for my liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Stila liquid eyeliner. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use the La Flair 3D Clear Band Lashes. So I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back with the eyelashes and the eyes done. Now let's get into the foundation. The foundation that I have is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. You all know how much I rave about skin care on this channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And I always say that if you're gonna uh, pick a foundation or wear a foundation, especially if you're gonna wear it every day, pick something that has uh, some skin loving ingredients in it. This particular foundation is, I wouldn't say it's thick, but it's definitely not one of the more fluid type of foundations or liquidy 
types of foundations. One thing that I can definitely say about it is that it feels super good on the skin. Super good. If you have mature skin, this is definitely one to try. And I just like doing this uh, technique or using a little brush to get in these areas that the sponge can't really get. Okay, and for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use this Ame Perfecting Comfort Concealer. This is it right here. It's just a stick concealer. And just to add a little bit more brightness under there, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl concealer and add it right there on my inner eye, here and here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. And I'm not sure if y'all can see how well these work together. There is very little settling in the eyes or in my lines. And I'm gonna set it with this powder. And now I'm gonna use my Lancome Multi-Finish uh, Foundation Powder. Comes in a packaging like this, and here is the shade. And with this particular powder, you can use it dry or wet. It's totally up to you. One thing that I have to say about this is that it does have a perfumey scent. That's probably the only thing that I don't like about it. And for my bronzer, I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery bronzer. Comes in a packaging like this. And here is the shade. So as you can see, it does have some burgundy undertones to it. It is very pigmented as you can see, but it does blend out to me relatively easily. So anytime you get your bronzer or anything too deep or anything like that, all you have to do is just go back in with your foundation brush or your powder and you can go back over it with that or you can go back over it with a concealer. Uh, it varies to me. Sometimes I use a concealer to kind of clean it up. Other times I use my foundation, but right now I'm just gonna use my foundation and you just kind of use it as an eraser and then you blend it in all right so got all that applied and I know you're like girl that is too much yep it's a lot it's a lot but that's okay <laughs> that is okay all right so I'm gonna go in with a blush and I have a Milani cream blush this is it this is how it looks on the brush I'm gonna get a little bit of the excess off on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply a little and a little bit on my nose. And I'm gonna go back in with a uh, just a fluffy brush and just kind of kind of blend all of this in a little bit more before I put my highlighter on. And I'm gonna use the Stila Cream Highlighter or the Heavenly Hue highlighter. This is it. And I'm just gonna apply it with a sponge just like this. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Suede Matte Eyeliner in Club Hopper. This is it. All right, so I got my lips lined and 
Yeah, I don't know about that. It's got a four and a half star rating. I don't think I agree with that one. I'm gonna go in with a matte lipstick and I have this uh, little collection that I bought that I still have and I'm gonna go in with this shade. I feel like this might not be the right shade to have with this eye color, but it's gonna have to work. And next I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Lip Balm. And I'm just gonna use this as a gloss and I'm gonna apply it with my fingers like that. And if you love manga, you will love this lip gloss. And then for a setting spray, I'm going with my PYT Beauty setting spray. It comes in a recyclable bottle like this. You always have to make sure you shake this up really, really good. And this is it. This is the final look using all four and a half star rated makeup. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of these products down below. And if so, what you think about them. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches.